I think that's a fish. I think we got a fish, guys. Just kind of sat on it. That's a fish. Better believe it is. All right. That didn't take long, Jay. No, it didn't. I, I don't think it's that big, though. I should be able to land it. We all first learn how to fish offshore, casting, of course, and retrieving. When you start in a boat, usually what you'll do is you'll cast your lures out and you'll just simply drag them with the power of the engine. That's a technique called trolling. Today we're going to show you all about trolling, how it works, and how to maximize the amount of fish you can get in the boat. Well, that's a good fish, Jay. Can this, you handle it? I think this one might be a bit bigger than we think. Oh, my goodness. Holy mackerel. What a first fish of the trip. This is what trolling can get you, and we're going to show you how to do it efficiently. Wow. Man. What a beaut. That's a three-foot fish. And there are several fundamental things that you have to keep in mind when you're trolling. The first one, and the one I find most important, is speed control. We use a GPS fish finder so that we can tell exactly what our speed is. As I look at my screen, I could tell that as I'm trolling in the shallow water here, I'm keeping my speed at 1.5 miles an hour. That's the proper speed for the presentation I'm doing. I may be in a different situation where I'm going all the way up to three and a half miles an hour to cover more water and to use different lures. Unlike fishing from shore where you're casting out to deep and bringing it back up to shallow, what trolling allows us to do is pick the, what might be the depth of the day. We are staying exactly in eight to 12 feet of water and that is very important because if we go shallower, we're gonna be hooking up weeds. If we go deeper, we're gonna be out of the fish zone. As for presentation, spoons, jigs, and crankbaits all work well. Run them beside the boat first to match speed to the action of the lure. Also, a line counter is invaluable. You'll know exactly whether the fish are biting 30, 50, or 80 feet behind the boat, as is a rod holder to reduce angler fatigue. We'll run upwind when we're in serious waves and troll with the wind. If you try stick handling that boat against the wind, what's going to happen is you're going to completely lose your depth control, you're going to completely lose your speed control, and you're more than likely going to lose more fish than you land when you're trying to fight a fish and fight the boat at the same time. We got a big fish, guys. Is it pulling pretty good? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, I got the net ready, and Jeff's on the engine, so we should be okay. It's a walleye. Just bring her right towards the boat. A little closer. Whoa, holy, look at the size of this walleye. This is what trolling can do. Give it a try, it's easy, and you might end up with the fish of a lifetime. Beautiful walleye, Sheldon. We're going to put her back so you can catch her next time. Wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous fish.